Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. Let me be real. Hello, hello, and welcome to the Mom and Hustle YouTube channel. I'm Melissa from momandhustle.com. And today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my home and cleaning schedule. I have it right here on this little uh, handy dandy piece of paper that I keep on our fridge. And basically it's broken up into tasks for every single day of the week. I like to break it up. It just makes it a lot easier for me, um, easier to focus, easier to kind of get it done. And then not feeling like on the weekends that you have to do everything all at once. I never like that feeling. Sometimes the weekends you just kind of want to chill and relax or maybe you're busier than usual. And I always hated coming home and having to feel like I was rushing to get everything done on Sunday night in order to get ready for the week ahead. So doing it this way, I can focus on a little task every single day. And yeah, it just, again, it makes for that kind of feeling of less overwhelmed throughout the week. So. Basically, I have my home and cleaning schedule kind of broken down into cleaning and then into home tasks. So cleaning is obviously like your bathroom or whatever. And then home tasks are things like errands, um, doing a project that you need to do around the house, decluttering, that type of stuff. So I will start off on Monday and we'll go right through till Sunday night and I'll share everything I do uh, throughout the week. So if you're new here, again, my name is Melissa. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and give it another thumbs up if you use a cleaning schedule like this too. When I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking. Okay, so it's Monday, it's the start of the week, and I always start off with cleaning windows and mirrors that are around the house. I like to do anything that's on my home and cleaning schedule in my first kind of morning chunk of time that I have on my time blocking schedule. You of course can do it any time that works for you when the kids were home all the time and we were um, a little bit busier with them being homeschooled and all that type of stuff. I would sometimes do it right before dinner or after dinner. It all really just depends, but find a time in your schedule that makes sense to you. Monday is also errands day, so I'll kind of do all my errands on one day instead of kind of going back and forth throughout the week. And it's also throughout the crap day. Any kind of mail that's accumulated throughout the week or flyers or anything that hasn't been thrown out, that's what I do. I throw out or I put in our little filing thing here. Um, yeah, it's just kind of a great way to not have things pile up on your countertops and then things that are supposed to be taken care of kind of get left to the wayside when they shouldn't be. Tuesday is always dedicated to a project or decluttering. So what I mean by this is this kind of bookshelf here has been bugging me for a while. So I put that on my project for that day. Next week I have my dresser drawers I want to go through. So yeah, it's just something that's kind of been nagging at you that you really want to get done. I'll put that as part of my project for that day. So Wednesdays, I always focus on the kids' bedrooms. This is just kind of like a midweek check-in almost. It's pretty much to just make sure that their rooms aren't getting completely trashed. I just kind of go around, do a little tidy. I'll check to make sure there's no like random food that's wandered in there throughout the last couple days that I'm not aware of or wet clothes somewhere, you know, just kind of like a mid-weekend, mid-week, sorry, check-in, like a maintenance check-in, just to make sure that everything is good to go. I'll make beds if they haven't been made. Yeah, just a little, little quick tidy up. I will also sweep and do whatever else is needed.
It's funny, my older two, Isla is definitely very organized at school, but not so much in her room. But Nash, my middle guy, my son, he, he loves to keep a tidy space and he's always willing to kind of help out and, and clean up. So there's usually not too, too much to do with his room because he's pretty good at maintaining it himself. And I don't know about you, but I really like having the kids' beds against the wall. They like it too, but it is such a pain to make them. You're just always trying to put covers in corners and it's just super annoying. So if you have any tips for how I can make this bed look a little bit nicer, let me know in the comments. I should also mention too that I always have a daily checklist as well. Um, we always make our beds around here, always in our bedroom, my husband and my bedroom, we always do the kids for the most part, but we always start our day off with making the beds. Um, taking out garbage, sweeping, those are just things that we do regardless and that they're always done daily. used to be our kids playroom but now it's kind of an office space so there's not really too much to do there and Thursday is dusting pretty easy day pretty self-explanatory I dust all over the house I don't know how the TV area gets so dusty like look at this this is gross and I actually ended up having to take everything out of here and like wipe it down because the fingerprints and the sticky food and stuff all over it was disgusting, as you can see. Saturdays is a little bit of a heavier day. There's a few more tasks on my list that day. One of them being bathrooms. Excuse the beautiful view of my toilet, but I wanted to make it as real for you as possible. Uh, this is our downstairs bathroom. I'll also do the upstairs as well too. More often than not, this is a task that my husband will take over. It all depends though if he's on call or out on a call or what his work schedule is like for the weekend, but if he is around, he's obviously more than willing to take over. Saturdays are also for uh, new sheets on everybody's bed, so I'll change everybody's bed sheets and wash the other ones. And it's also grocery pickup, which I would say 98% of the time, my husband takes care of that. And then Sundays, we vacuum and do a quick little check on the kids' rooms again. Sundays, I like to get them more involved in their bedrooms. It's kind of what they have to do in order to start off their week. But yeah, I've mentioned this in my last video that we just got this new uh, vacuum, the Shark Rocket, I believe it is, but it's amazing. So yeah, we'll vacuum anything that needs to be vacuumed, kind of the main entryway, underneath couches, area rugs, things like that. And then Sundays, it's relatively an easy day. 
I like to take up my planner and I just kind of plan for the week ahead. I take a look at the schedule, see what's coming up. We will prep like a few veggies and fruits and things like that uh, for the week ahead for snacks and lunches. And my husband and I always just do like a quick check-in with each other. Sometimes we'll do a family meeting with all of us around the table. It just depends on time. But more often than not, we're just sitting down, making sure that we know what's needed of one another for the next week. If there's any appointments, plans we may not know about, it's just kind of our time to check in before the new week starts. And here's a quick look as well too, if you would actually like to see my actual home and cleaning schedule.